Last night's win against the Vikings brought a high of excitement, but today brought some more. It's really us who really get the advantage out of it, I feel like. How you doing? Jacob Hollister and Malik Turner flew in this afternoon to spend the day meeting some of their young fans. They're at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital speaking with kids who are wow. fighting a much bigger sorry. battle, their health. You, you think back to being a kid and how awesome it is to have people you know, with a platform come out and visit. And, uh, but not only that, it's really uh, something that's enlightening for us to come. Kind of just taking their mind away from things and just enjoying the day. We brought this for you. <laughs> it's really if you'll super have it. Soft, very soft. Oh, it is really soft. Thank yeah. you. The players drop by several rooms, signing flags <laughs> and giving each patient a Seahawks bear. These are my best game clubs. Near the end of the visit, they were asked to stick around for a special ceremony. Seven-year-old Brody won his fight with cancer and would ring the victory bell. So he invited Jacob and Malik to join him. It was so nice that um, they were right next to me when I rang the bell. It's shocking the fact that we can come into a room and put smiles on somebody's yeah. faces, you know. I think it's truly special. It's just awesome to see kids that have so much fight and we go out there on Sundays and, and you know you're banged up after the game and stuff like that and then you see these kids who are really fighting battles um, with the things that they're going through and it's just incredible. These kids are warriors. In Spokane, Shana Walltower, Crampton News.